Hey, what up, everybody? See your breach coming see you. It is really a escape me and pass me by, but the day is finally here. It has bounced around left and right, back and forth. Batista will finally be stepping in the MMA ring. Yeah, Batista left us like that would be two years ago, maybe even longer. It was the, right after WrestleMania 26. He had, he ran a few pay-per-views on his last run. And they took off, and from then it was he was setting up his gym, and he was gonna, you know, start, you know, fighting in the cage, and uh, really wanted to get a, a deal done uh, with Strike Force. Looked like it was gonna happen a couple of times, and then with the deal with UFC fell through. Um, you know, he, he's off on his own right now, and he's doing this fight in Providence, Rhode Island, of all places. Uh, you know, Batista's, you know, the uh, the main deal on the card because of his past uh, career. Uh, the, the guy that he's fighting has uh, been way over experienced uh, he's been in 45 fights he's not a good fighter uh but he's at least uh, been in the cage more than uh for his first time so batista honestly is going in there uh a little undermatched uh my honest opinions about it i don't really care um i'm not a real big fan of mixed martial arts or, or ufc i follow it just by listening to uh observer radio and uh, whenever alvarez and melter uh, talk about it i try to soak that in so i could uh, carry on a decent conversation with other people that that, that watch it um but uh they've got me close a few times to to, uh, to to watching a fight and seeing what happens um but honestly uh, i just i just don't care about it I just, i'm just a wrestling kind of guy so i'll stick with wrestling but uh, my opinion uh, about the Batista fight, I hope he walks in and he gets knocked out in the first punch. I want to see, honestly see Batista get some sort of embarrassed to the point where he doesn't want to go out there and try this fighting over and over and over again. Honestly, in my opinion, it might take him a couple fights for him to give up his dreams, but uh, with his age, he only has a few shots and you know, he, you know what happens, happens. Uh, I want to see Batista back in the WB sooner than later. Uh, Batista was a man, and I, even in, in wrestling over mixed martial arts, he only has a little bit of time left at the age he's at. You know, he started real late in life, and um, I think we've really missed him the last few years. And you know, I, I think that uh, he, he says he doesn't like the PG era, but I mean, if he got in there and it was the only way he was going to make money, um, sort of like when I when when Lesnar got signed and he came back over from UFC to WWE, I, I looked at it as sort of like you know that last grasp to, to make that uh, you know that big paycheck because you know there's no real way for uh, a guy like Batista or uh, Brock Lesnar to get a, a regular day job. You know, they're going to be living on the money they made when they were uh, at the top of their game, and uh, what they have is what they have, and when it runs out, it runs out. I don't really see them, you know, d doing anything else. So, uh, Batista, hopefully you lose, and you head back to WWE sooner or later, because we miss you, Big Dave. Uh, there's a whole lot of angles they could be doing with you. They always need big, muscly dudes, and, and you were one of the best. I appreciated everything you did there, and so uh, hurry up and get back.